Hello students, welcome to the series on advertising. Today we are going to study unit 1. In this we will study the introduction to advertising as a tool of communication. Now let us study the objective of this lecture. In this we will cover introduction to basic communication and we will also study the process and advertising as a tool of communication. Now let us see some quotes on advertising. According to Bill Bernbach, the most powerful element in advertising is the truth. According to David Ogilvy, what really decides consumers to buy or not to buy is the content of your advertising, not it forms. So basically when we study advertising as a tool or as a process, it is important to understand what the basic thinkers who have been the forerunners of this industry think about the subject. So in advertising, truth is important. Truth and honesty can take any brand a very long way in the market. The content of your product and the content of advertising can impact the society in a big way. Now let us see advertising as a language and content. According to William Butler, think like a wise man but communicate in the language of the people. According to again Bill Burnback, an idea can turn to dust or magic depending on the talent that rubs against it. So advertising is a force, a kind of a language which rhythms with the language of the people. Advertising if thrown on the society must vibe with the language of the people and the culture of the people. So advertising is important in terms that it is an idea which you give it to the people. It is not only important that you are launching a product but even if you want to make something popular as a force to change the attitude of people in the society whether it is politics or whether it is any uh, abstract tangible uh, thing which has to come into a force and it has to build the ideology of the society advertising can play an important role. Now let us come to the technical aspects of the advertising where we are going to study the definition. Advertising is an audio visual form of communication where there is an identified sponsor with a non-personal message for promoting any idea or product. Sponsors of advertising are business organizations who want to make the product to be promoted for selling. So in advertising we basically need to have a uh, healthy identified sponsor that means he must have money and investment as an option to promote that idea and the message should be non-personal that is it has to be a public message taken in the interest of the public. So it should not hurt the feelings of the people and it should rhythm with the language and the ideology of the society in which we are bringing up the product. Now see communication concept and meaning in a technical way. Communication basically starts with creating a meaning. Meaning has to be basically uh, given an impact with the ethics and the culture of the society where the values build the basic impact of the words in form of languages. The language is derived from the symbols which we use and the symbols basically get meaning from the signs which we use. The signs and the combination of those codes decides the behavior of the people and the behavior binds between two individuals to transmit the message. So it basically starts with an idea that where you are communicating in what form or what shape you are communicating and here the values and ethics combine in a way to cultivate a behavior which is interpersonal. Interpersonal means there are two individuals and here two individuals try to decode their uh, code of symbols to convert into a meaning. Now communication is basically a system. It is a technique for expressing thoughts through the power of speech and technology has enhanced the exchange process through the multimedia. Communication builds a system of routes for moving ideas, goods, troops, supplies and vehicles to create value for two parties. Now communication basically is a system that is you have to make uh, things move from one 
uh, point to the another. Maybe it is a transportation system or it is a marketing system or it is uh, electronic transmission of the messages. So, we basically try to connect the nodes. Nodes are the basic uh, beneficiaries in the market who basically come into a kind of a pivotal circuit to decide the transmission of the message. That is you need to have suppliers, then you need to have vendors, vendors would buy goods from the manufacturers and they would give it to the retailers and the retailers will give it to the individuals. So, here we have built a communication system where goods are transmitted from one end to the other. Now, let us study the various communication channels to broadcast advertising. Advertising can be broadcasted to various communication channels such as the traditional channels or the classical channels or you have the new and the modern channels. Now, let us study first the traditional classical media for advertising. This is the traditional media is the newspapers, magazines television, radio, outdoor paints and direct mails. Now, this form of communication is promoting advertising for past many years. It has emerged with the evolution of human society where we have transmitted our ideas and messages through newspapers and through other broadcasting media where uh, society is united and we are trying to run our governments, we are trying to run our markets and we are trying to imbibe our ideologies in the society through this media. But now, the new modern form of channels has changed uh, the advertising system in a big way. The new media is the search results, the blogs, the social media, the websites and they basically imbibe and form the text messages for the people. So, the new way of living in this world is now the electronic mode or the e-channels which are connecting people all through the global world and converting this world into an electronic village where through very high technical advanced gadgets we are exchanging messages, we are exchanging prices, we are exchanging products and services so that any end supplier can connect with any other person in the world to form a chain which is more cheap, convenient and specialized to give the benefit to the people. Now, let us study print media as a form of communication. Now, the print media basically includes the newspapers, magazines, weeklies, monthlies, printed journals. So, this is a revolution which has involved the quality and the authenticity of the advertisement. In spite of the e-channels and radio as a form of communication and other media of communication, Written communication through magazines, newspapers is still very powerful. It is powerful because it is authentic and it is correct. The newspapers have the credibility of transmitting the message. So, there is no fraud or there is no misleading of facts. Whereas, the channels which have been put into the hands of people generally can give you misguided ideas, but still the print media is considered the most legal form of communication and the most authentic form of advertising because the information is credible in its uh, uh, form as it is recorded. The non-commercial entities of communication basically include the political parties, the interest groups, the religious organization, the government agencies and the non-profit organizations. Now, see advertising is not only used for commercial gains, advertising is also important for the non-commercial entities of the society where even political parties, the NGOs that is the non-governmental organization, the other leader groups, the governmental agencies want to uh, take their messages to the public as a social form to reform the mindset of the people. So, this is a force where you are not trying to earn profits, but you need to uh, unite people so as to create an ideology where a movement can be shaped to perform certain tasks. So, here advertising also plays an important role where you want to arouse the feelings of patriotism or you want to arise the feelings of loyalty and trust in any government. 
Now, advertising is a force. Let us study advertising as a force shaping the society. Advertising helps in building faith for employees to work and also for shareholders to invest. According to Thomas J. Barrett, who is the father of modern advertising, he says that advertising is important because he was the uh, person who basically worked for PS Soap Company and he creatively targeted the slogans, images and phrases for a particular group of people and had changed the business in a big way. Now, Thomas J. Barrett was the father of advertising who first worked on this soap and had made it popular and made it commercially viable to target a particular group of people and advertising is important, targeting is uh, necessary because uh, to create impact on the whole group is difficult and everybody cannot be connected to you. So, we need to decide what is the functionality of the product, what is the value related to the product and according to that value and functionality you need to choose from the demographics of the society and decide a particular group where you can shape the mindset of the people to use it. So, any idea cannot impact the whole universe. There will be a selected group of people who will be influenced by uh, the particular idea. So, we need to identify this group and target this group. So, at least results can be seen. Otherwise, if we target on very large group of people, our efforts can be wasted. Now, let us study advertising as a form of internet from 1990s. Internet from the 1990s has given shape to online advertising. The advent of the ad server online advertising has started growing. This has given birth to the dot com boom. The search engine like Google has changed the scene of online advertising. Now, internet as a force of revolution has changed the lives of people and has changed the concept of business in a big way. The dot com revolution has given birth to websites, has given birth to blogs, has given birth to many search engines, has given birth to many social media forums where we are connected through larger public and larger number of people. The messages are instant, the feedback is fast, the groups formation is for a purpose and the groups dissolve easily also. So, for a purpose we can create a group, spread an idea, when the work is finished you can another uh, way you can dismantle the group and give it a shape for another idea. So, advertising is basically now changing the society in a big way because of internet uh, impacting and piercing all phrases of life whether you are a, as a child or as adult or as a senior citizen you are impacted by this culture of uh, electronic gadgets which is giving you a kind of exposure to the larger world. Now, let us study about interactive advertisements. Interactive and embedded advertisements through social media have become important through Facebook and Twitter. Then you have domain parking. This allows placements of ads driven by pay per click methods. And then you have domain lease methods where a name is rented of a particular domain to place the product idea on that domain. Now, here a new concept of advertisement has emerged which never uh, existed before. We are into an interactive forum where social media like Facebook is sponsoring the advertisements of many manufacturers and many people who are forming the pages on uh, this media and promoting the products and idea and connecting societies and groups of people to promote any idea product or any ideology as a form of governance. Now, domain parking is if you basically want to position your product in somebody else domain, you pay according to the clicks which the product is uh, being seen by the number of people and uh, you get the product popular on somebody's else domain which is popular. What is domain lease? Here a name of domain is leased to the people. So, that if resembles the name of the product like it may be car.com or it can be market.com or stock.com, here the other people can come and position their products so that 
large number of people according to the functionality of the word can see the idea and can use it. Now here the purpose of the advertising is to raise awareness to get an immediate sale and to build a kind of a impact that is we need to get a direct response from people. Commercial advertising media basically relate to the wall paintings, street furniture, billboards, web banners, telephone screens, shopping carts, web pop ups, bus stop benches, in flight advertisements. So, internet, print, commercial and other media which are non-commercial all are important for communication because uh, one way of communication or one channel of communication cannot create a larger impact. So, we use each and every channel whether we are traveling uh, through flights or through railways or through uh, the roads, every area which shows you a banner creates a kind of a silent impact. Every day you start learning the name, every day silently you have a communication uh, which makes you close to that product or a name and after years together and months together that name basically becomes very popular in your mind and tries to change your attitude and respect towards a particular brand. Now let us study what is publicity and brand. Publicity is unpaid and free advertising which is a kind of recommendation from advisors. Brand is used as a kind of a common noun and now brand can be used as a language. Taking examples of Xerox used for photocopy, Kleenex used for tissue and Vaseline used for petroleum jelly. Now here what we are going to say that if, even if you are not paying for a particular brand still advertising is done through public forums where publicity is given through counsellors and advertisers or advisors who recommend the product for people to use it. Now because you are an expert and the product has got value it gets the recommendation from a, a set of counsellors. So basically a free advertising is uh, done through uh, media or through counsellors. So even this kind of advertising though it is not paid but this publicity is very important for the organizations. So here a kind of a social research has to be done so that the products become useful uh, for a larger segment of the society and they can be recommended by the people. Now sometimes the brand becomes so powerful that people convert this brand into a language. Like if you want to do a photocopy of a paper, photocopy has gone out as a word in a dictionary and people would say it Xerox this copy. So Xerox is basically a brand for a photocopy machine but Xerox now has become a language and a kind of a verb in the dictionary of the people. In layman's language it is used as a kind of a verb or a function to complete a particular task. Now if you want to use a jelly to uh, basically clean your feet or you want to apply for your body Vaseline has become a popular name. People uh, do not remember jelly as a kind of a product but Vaseline as a kind of a product. Now the new media approaches for advertising basically relate to the digital video recorders and the email spam. The digital video recorders basically are the DVDs and the videos uh, which are uploaded on YouTube, which are uploaded on other social media so that people can uh, get into that entertainment aspect of the video and catch the message in a faster way. To read a literature of 30 pages or to read a literature of 3 pages, it is boring and tiresome for everybody. We do not have enough time to uh, get into the written aspects. So, videos are basically a faster way to communicate the message uh, which may be of 2 seconds like teasers coming on uh, uh, Snapchat or on uh, other media of Instagram. You may have 3 minutes videos or you may have a 20 minutes video depending on the content and the concern uh, which you are trying to take it to the public. Email spam basically is some commercial message related to the product or organizing of some event given to the larger masses of people which is uh, the customers here are not uh, 
connected to the product in any way, but you get spams because your data has been somewhere recorded by very big giants and the collection of data through this giants has given them a channel and a connection to communicate with you. Now, let us study something about crowdsourcing. This is impacted by the trend of user generated advertisements. The user generated ads are created by people as opposed to an advertising agency. And here basically uh, what we are doing is we are trying to use cloud as a form of storage media. All the ads and all the information now is basically cloud computed and it is uh, used as a kind of a data which is generally given at all forums. This is the user generated ads are created by people also somewhere uh, like you are generally want to learn painting. Now, when you are learning painting and you are conducting classes of painting, so you will use paints related to companies like Favicryl or other companies which are in the market. So, when user generated workshops and user generated uh, commitments are done for learning and growing the society, knowingly or unknowingly we are publicizing the products, we are conducting workshops, we are conducting seminars or we are uh, generally uh, making people to connect not only to see the product or no, not only give them the demo of the product, but we want to make them learn how to use that product. So, uh, crowdsourcing has become important because the data uh, created for particular segments has become very big and we are using channels to promote this kind of data where food blogging, uh, the medicine blogging and the fashion blogging everything has become important. Now, through this blogging and through this learning process knowingly or unknowingly we are promoting the products which are related to those particular and specialized industries. In the recent studies conducted by various companies including Deloitte and Google, they have revealed that people put more trust in print media than in online media. The reason for is that newspapers and magazines in spite of the revolution of the online media are still considered to be more authentic sources for any type of information. So, whatever may be your mode of uh, advertising, whatever your mode of sharing, still newspapers carry a high level of credibility in the market. The print media as a form of communication and as a form of advertising plays an important role in managing the mechanics of the society. Now, let us study the communication mix for enhancing advertising. The basic communication mix for enhancing advertising is the public relations, internet, mobile communication, promotions, media and memberships. So, what is communication? It is basically a form uh, where you have the variables. Variables are the uh, various options of the communication media which you use to frame advertising message and to promote advertising message. Public relations is the relations with the public in terms uh, where you deal with the customers, where you deal with your shareholders, where you deal with your investors and even with your competitors. So, your relationship is uh, stressed, it will go as a negative concern in the society. So, uh, when you work in market, you need to work on positive public relations so as to satisfy your all stakeholders in the societies and uh, these stakeholders would carry your image of respect to a far level because any hatred generated by any group can make your product tarnish in the market. So, even your competitors deserve the respect and they deserve the kind of the uh, reference and the concern for the kind of the work they are doing. So, it is important that when we survive in the society, we are not uh, supposed to criticize any stakeholder because this is a kind of a negative message. So, in the interest of the society, there are many companies uh, who promote good matches, they promote good political talks, they promote good workshops where all the competitors come together to work 
for the social cause and concern. Internet as a force is both positive and negative, but internet when is uh, used by identified sources generally carries positive messages for the public. Mobile communication has changed the concept of working for banking and for the businesses because here the advertising now has become personalized and customized according to the customers you have. Promotions basically relate to the kind of the uh, personal selling or the discounts or the incentives which you are offering uh, as a free concept so that the products can go a long way in the society. Media can be written, can be verbal, can be audio or visual. It is a combination where multimedia is creating a big impact on the society. Memberships uh, basically create loyalty because once you create a tribe or a community, uh, the status of the people changes. Uh, membership here creates a longer concept of uh, caring relationships with people. Even products, companies and political parties are believing in membership and here discounts are given uh, to people who become members of a particular group or a community. Now let us study the aim of communication to make advertising happen. The aim of communication is to inform, to remind and to persuade people. So communication as a force of informing, persuading people will uh, generally make the product popular. Here advertising would work through a kind of a model that is the ADA model that is you have to create first an awareness then try to create an interest, desire and action. So it is not instantly that once you have told people that you have to buy a particular product, they are going to buy the product because to convince people is a difficult task. So it is a stepwise process of awareness to create a kind of a desire and then you force people to buy the product. So advertising is a long process of hard work of constant uh, relationship through kind of uh, very uh, through various kinds of channels so that people build the faith of connecting to you. Now let us study the summary of this lecture. In this lecture we have studied that advertising can only grow if communication channels are accurately and strongly developed. The authentic form of communication channels can make advertising happen in a big way. So advertising can only survive and can only become popular and can only perform if your communication channels are accurate, your communication channels are powerful, your communication channels need big investment from the investors, they need big investment from people to survive as a force of uh, connection, whether internet, whether websites, whether TV, media, print, everything is a kind of a costly uh, channel which requires lot of investment and if this investment is proper, accurate, then this force can generally develop to convey accurate, legal, right and authentic content to people. That is the content can only be regulated and content can only uh, connect people if the channels are strong. So I hope the students must have understood the importance of advertising as a force which can build impact on the people. Advertising without communication channels cannot uh, play magic in the society. Thank you students.